All right, I'm going to be doing a uh, iPad Air 2 digitizer connector. I'm actually doing both of them. Uh, I had already started on this and then my camera ran out of storage space. But luckily I didn't get that far. Gonna remove the old connector with some hot air. These anchors are going to take the most heat to come off because they're on ground. There we go. All right. Pull these leftover pins off with the hot tweezers. And then I'm going to run over the pads with some leaded solder. This will make installing the, the new connector a lot easier, take a lot less heat. Um, I could just leave it as is, kind of, and um, install the new connector with the existing solder, but it's easier if you mix in the lead, uh, the leaded solder. So I want to just kind of get all of these pads looking the way that I like them, which is with enough solder, but not too much. I want them kind of bubbled up a little. Uh, I think that's good enough. Anything that has kind of a weak joint, and some of these definitely will, um, I'll just go over after I've installed with hot air and touch it up with the hot tweezers. So I'm going to position both of these connectors and then tack down just a couple of pins on them both so they won't move around or blow away.
Now I could go through and do, you know, each pin with the hot tweezers and get everything soldered. Um, the reason that I choose not to and I go with the hot air is not just because it's quicker, um, but because the the connector isn't actually like sitting flat down against the board like it should be when I do this. It's raised up a little bit because it's sitting on top of the you know mounds of solder that are on the pads. So by using the hot air, I can make sure that that connector is flush with the board. Um, and that just makes better joints overall. Ooh, that is too much heat. Gotta be careful not to heat these up too fast because that'll happen, which this is not, I don't need to get another connector just yet. Um, that little bit of meltiness is not really a problem. All right, that should be good. We'll go to this one. should be good too now. Yeah, I know that that kind of looks bad, but really it's not. Um, looks like that did cause this middle section to raise up a little bit, so I'm gonna have to put a little pressure on the connector while I solder the rest of the joints. A little more flux isn't gonna hurt. Those anchors are good. Those are solid. So I'm doing this with the board in the housing, um, but I've got the battery isolated from the board and shielded just for any extra heat that comes off. All right, come on, let me get in there. Okay. Just going down on each one, making sure that I heat up both the pad and the pin and get that good little like ski slope shaped joint there. Let's see, those anchors are good, those are good.
All right, so this should be good to go now. Um, I'm not gonna test it on camera because I don't really, I need a second camera set up to really do that well. Um, if I have any issues with it, I'll start the video back up and record any diagnosing troubleshooting, but I expect this to be just fine. All those joints looked really good to me. They felt good. Just clean all the flux off. Um, that's all there is to it. Easy. Thanks for watching.